Well, sustainability, I think, is really intrinsic to our organization. I think the reason that the school started was in order to sustain or maintain um, the Japanese language and culture in a new land, um, and that is still the main reason for us being here. This area has always been a multicultural and welcoming neighborhood for immigrants, and this was the school in Japantown area. So, Kids would come to school here, the parents would come and, and volunteer here, um, and they would shop in the neighborhood. There would be other kinds of organizations in the neighborhood that they would be part of. So it was really a social hub for the Japanese Canadian immigrants. There's quite a lot of activities here. Our main um, activity are the classes. We have classes from um, preschool children, um, age three and above, and to adult classes. Uh, we also have uh, cultural classes like calligraphy. Some martial arts groups meet here and many of our students join the martial arts classes. As well, we have a lot of community events and it's for everyone who is interested in coming. We had food bazaars and many other kinds of cultural activities. And also, we feel that our building is an asset, not just to ourselves, but to the neighborhood. So we do have um, neighborhood groups meeting here or using our facilities for various activities. One of the things that we try to do is to really um, connect with the issues that are going on in the community, partner with other Japanese Canadian organizations to look at how we can commemorate the history of Japanese Canadians, but also work with other downtown Eastside organizations to look at how we can be proactive in improving the neighborhood. Our organization, and I think it's part of Japanese culture, is that we've always had this policy of not wasting and so on. So I think the, the germs of that kind of idea has always been with us, not in terms of what we think now, in terms of recycling and all of that, but that has, um, that has always been part of the school mentality. The whole idea of renovating the Heritage Building is a green concept. We're taking the building to its original um, materials. We've had all this linoleum you know, covering our beautiful fur floors, for example, so we're taking all of that off, so it's going back to its original flooring. We're rebuilding the interior in such a way that there's more airflow and more natural light. And also in our plans, depending on whether we have funding or not, it's, what's going to be built in is an opportunity for us to have geothermal and solar paneling and a clear story on the top of the building. So all of that will be added as we're able to really make the building greener and more sustainable. For any organization and business to be sustainable and to keep going for as long as we have for 105 years is to have a real vision and to have a real passion for the ideas or for the reason for it being. When people really um, engage in an organization with passion um, because they really believe in the organization, it just really helps to drive the future and to make the organization as welcoming as possible for everyone. I think those are the reasons that the organization has been successful for the last 105 years. <laughs>